everybody, it's Kayla, and today I wanted to talk about my diagnosis of Labor's congenital amaurosis, LCA for short. Um, specifically, I had LCA type 13 with the RDH12 gene mutation. So I just wanted to give kind of a brief description of what my vision is like with this um, eye condition and what my vision progression has been like. And for those longtime viewers of mine, you may be thinking, LCA, I thought you had retinitis pigmentosa, and so did I. Um, I was diagnosed with RP when I was four, and I am currently 27, and only about six months ago got genetic testing done and was diagnosed with LCA, which LCA is just a early onset and more severe type of retinitis pigmentosa. So um, they weren't completely wrong. Retinitis pigmentosa is kind of like the umbrella. So I would still be considered to have that, but LCA is just a more specific diagnosis. So when I was first diagnosed with LCA, the first thing I did is I was searching on the internet trying to find information about what other people's vision is like with LCA, specifically with the RDH12 mutation, and what their vision progression has been like. That was kind of the main thing I was interested in, and I really couldn't find very much information at all. And then I thought, if someone else is searching on YouTube, LCA or RDH12, I'm not gonna come up because a lot of my videos have retinitis pigmentosa in the title, not LCA. So I wanted to make this video so that people searching for those things could find me and my channel. So hello, if you are new and you have found me through those searches, um, I just wanted to make this video because I want to be the resource for other people that I wasn't able to find for myself. So I have a lot of videos on my channel talking about my vision and just my experience being legally blind. Um, again, just because they don't have LCA in the title or I don't say in the video that I have LCA because I didn't know, um, all of those videos are still applicable. Also side note that I just wanna throw out there, um, Labor's congenital amaurosis is not the same thing as Labor's hereditary optic neuropathy. Um, although they both have Labor's in the title, they are completely different eye conditions, which is kind of confusing, but just wanted to throw out that clarification. Okay, so now let's talk about my vision. So we'll just start from the beginning. I was pretty much born legally blind. I had 2200 vision and um, I never had peripheral vision, so I've always described it kind of like I'm looking through like a cereal box. Um, so never had peripheral vision, and then I have never been able to see in the dark. So just straight off the bat, I had no peripheral vision and no night vision. Those things have never existed in my life. But my central vision was relatively okay. Um, so I had 2200 vision, which means that I could see the big E on the eye chart and that was it. That was all I could see on the eye chart. Um, I couldn't really see anything that was far away. Um, I couldn't read regular size print. I had to read large print and I wasn't really able to see any detail. Um, but other than that, I feel like my central vision was okay. I feel like I functioned relatively normally with pretty minimal accommodations. And that's what my vision was like when I was growing up and it was stable until I was about 18 years old and that's when my vision started to get worse and it has continued to decline over the past about 10 years. So at about age 25 is when I would say that my vision started to get really bad. Um, that was about the time where I was no longer able to read large print, no matter how large it was or no matter how much I magnified something. And um, I started to really need to use a cane to navigate around. 
And now at the age of 27, about to turn 28, um, my vision is currently, um, I can really only see slightly more than shapes and shadows. I can see contrast, so like just pretty much the difference between dark and light. Um, I still can see a tiny bit of color, but not very well at all. Colors are still really faded. Um, I can see the color red better than any other color. And I can see movement and lights and that's about it. So that's pretty much the gist of what my vision is like now and what my vision progression has been like. Um, but I do want to link some videos where I have gone a lot more into detail. So one is called, I think, what I can see as a legally blind person, where I just go into a lot of detail about what my vision is like and what I can see. Um, I did make that video probably about more than two and a half years ago, so it's not accurate to what my vision is now, but will give you a good idea of what my vision was like when I was 25. I will also link a video about how my vision has changed, where I go into detail about what I used to be able to see versus what I'm able to see now, and it just gives a really good depiction of what my vision progression has been like. I will link my video about getting genetic testing done, um, where I found out that I have LCA and just my initial reaction to um, getting diagnosed with that. And since LCA is an early onset disorder, um, a lot of young children are diagnosed with it. So if you are a parent of a child that was diagnosed with LCA and you're looking for resources for them, I will link a video I made um, with my advice for parents of visually impaired children, just my perspective as someone who was a visually impaired child, just looking back on um, what things my parents did that were helpful and things that I wish had been done differently. So all of these videos can be found either in the cards or the description box below. So there's one more thing that I wanna talk about really quick and that is when I was doing research about LCA and just the typical progression of the disorder, um, I found a lot of conflicting information. I found some sources that said that it's um, a stable condition and that you know vision wouldn't get worse. And then I found other sources that said that it's um, a rapid progression and that people with LCA would be completely blind by their late teens or early 20s. So I just wanna say to try and not let that scare you because doctors don't know. They can't know. They cannot predict if or when someone will lose their vision. Even people with the exact same gene mutation still have different vision and different rates of progression. You know, look at me, I'm almost 28 and I still have vision and still had pretty okay vision until I was 25. So those predictions of losing vision by late teens or early 20s um, obviously was not accurate for me. And doctors can be wrong and often are wrong on both sides of the spectrum. So for me, I was told growing up that my condition was stable and that it would not get worse and it did get worse, um, so my doctors were wrong there. I would really encourage you to just take it day by day and focus on what your vision is like today instead of worrying about what it's going to be like in the future because you just don't know. And of course, there's no harm in being prepared and you know just thinking about the future and trying to be prepared for possible vision loss, um, but you also don't want to live your life like your vision has an expiration date. So I will also link a video that I made about the possibility that I could go completely blind and how I feel about it, where I just talk about kind of my outlook on the possibility of losing all of my vision and just how I live my life knowing that that is a possibility. Okay, so that's about it for this video. Um, if you are new here because you just found me, um, welcome, I'm glad to have you. I would encourage you to just peruse my channel um, and check out some other videos. I have a ton of stuff on here about 
um, being legally blind and I have a retinitis pigmentosa playlist um, which would all be relevant videos because I'm talking about what my experience with LCA even though I didn't know that that's what I had. And I hope you consider subscribing so that you can see new videos that I put out. I would also love for anyone with LCA or specifically LCA type 13 um, with the RDH12 mutation to leave a comment below and just tell me about your vision or what your vision progression has been like because that's something that I'm really interested in and that I'm guessing other people watching this video may be interested in as well just to see um, different people with this same condition and um, just the differences in our vision and our progression and experiences. So I'm really looking forward to hearing from you and I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you in the next one.